Hello, how are you doing? In this video we are going to take a look at the Wraithwood terrain set from Asgard Rising Miniatures. Now this is a full modular terrain set which comes with a wide variety of parts which you can combine in a number of unique different ways to create your own custom forest set. So without any further ado let's take a closer look. Right, so laid out here is one complete set and what I've basically done is printed one of everything just to give you an idea of exactly what's included. You'll also find a PDF with the assembly instructions and this basically talks you through the scale, what the names and the types of parts are and also a diagram showing you exactly what fits together. But to be honest with you, this is so straightforward that I doubt you'll have to refer to this much at all. Now, also off to the side of me, I have a second set which I've already assembled and this is just to give you an example of exactly the type of thing that you can expect to put together from this set. So to run you through the parts real quick, you get a wide variety of tops, you get some branches, some switches, and also a mixture of roots. Now the key thing with this set is there is actually two different sizes of connections. If we take a look at this root, you can see on one half, you've got a smaller size connection, and on the other, you've got a much larger size connection. Now the genius thing with this set is that everything is fully compatible with everything else of the same size. So if we take this small root for example, you can take any of the smaller tops and apply it directly on top of here and you can create something that looks a little bit like this. Likewise with the larger roots, you can take one of the larger tops and put it on top and you can create something that looks a little bit like this one. Now you do also have the option of the switches and you can apply these in the middle. Now, this one has taken a large uh, connection and split into two smaller ones. So on top of there, you can take any of the smaller connections and it will fit on either side of those perfectly well. You can even put something like this, which is basically a battered, uh, battered branch, and put that straight on top. Now, I've taken all those parts and I've actually created one that looks like this. So you can see I put like a, a regular top and then the broken one, and then I've also added a couple of smaller branches. So that gives you just a few examples of some of the things you can make, but of course the options are almost endless. Take this large root for example, you've got two small connections on the outside and a large one in the middle, and as I said before, you can take any of the tops of the same size and apply it directly on top of here, or you can take any of the switches and build up from there. On my one for example, I've gone from a small root to a small top, I've gone from the large root to a large switch to a large top, and on the final one, I've gone from a small root to a small switch and then to a small top. You also have the option of combining your switches together. So if we take these two, for example, you can add them together to build your trees even taller. And of course, on top of there, you can add another switch if you wish to do so. The only thing to remember is to match the size and the orientation and you can combine virtually any option you can think of. To add a bit more variety, a lot of the switches and the tops also have these little holes in for you to add some branches to. On this one, for example, I have added a couple of branches to the bigger switch in the middle just to add a bit more variety to that tree. Now, of course, you can also leave those holes empty as I've done on here because I think that also looks pretty cool. Now, another very simple option that you have is you can actually print some extra roots and leave them as they are because if you take a closer look, you can see that most of them have actually been detailed on the top to be left without being built on. So not only can you leave the roots as they are, you have a variety of tops you can put straight on there, you have a variety of switches you can build on top, you can put switches on switches. The options are pretty much endless, but the fun doesn't stop there. You see, one of the good things about 3D printing is that you have the option to mirror your prints. So if you print a mirrored set, you've basically doubled the amount of options that you have. But just remember, if you do decide to print the whole set mirrored, those parts are only gonna be compatible with the set that they were printed with. 
So by doing that, you are literally doubling all the combinations and all the possibilities that you can think of, which is pretty amazing. So I hope that shows you just some of the possibilities you can create from this set. Everything I've shown you in the pictures has been made from one complete set and a couple of mirrored prints. Now you can of course print multiple parts and multiple sets and that will open up your options to an almost endless amount. So please feel free to check this set out, I will leave a link for everything in the description and once again until next time thank you for watching, take it easy and I will see you then.